All right, hi everybody. Um, I'm Jessica Milsatich. I'm with the USA Gov team, and I'm here to introduce our beta chatbot. Um, let's see if I can make this. Work. There we go. So for those who don't know, uh, USA.gov, I kind of consider us the hybrid 311, 411 for your federal government information. So we answer all sorts of questions from the public on government benefits and services. And we believe the public's experience with government should be easy, trusted, and reliable. And there is a lot of information from the government out there. And so we try to streamline it and make it easier for people. And so why did we want to start with a bot? Well, like I said, we get tons of questions from people on all kinds of topics. And we wanted to see if automation would give people easier, faster, quicker answers. And why did we start with scams? Because that's a topic that touches basically everyone. I mean, who in this room hasn't gotten a questionable call, email, text, somebody from, claiming to be from the IRS, threatening you to like shut down your accounts if you don't pay them a bunch of money? We hear that all the time in our call center, on our websites. And so we know it's, it puts people in an uncomfortable position, a place of worry, a place of concern. And so we wanted to do a deep dive into how we can make that better. Not that we can stop you from uh, experiencing those horrible things, but that you can have a better solution when it happens. And so we talked to 32 people who had either reached out to us through our call center or on our social media channels and said, help, I have been in this position, make this better for me. And we talked to them about what their experiences were, the emotions they felt, what they did. Did they lose money? Did they not lose money? And from that research, we came up with kind of three basic findings. Um, one, that people really need to know the right place to report a scam. Did they need to go to the Treasury Department for those IRS scams? Did they need to go to the FTC for many, many other scams? Trying to figure out the right place was really, really tough. Knowing if an interaction they had even was a scam was another big pain point. Some people couldn't identify if this interaction was legitimate or not. And in fact, we found that actually millennials were the group that were more likely to give their money to a scammer than older generations, which, yeah, we found that really interesting um, for sure. And then the last thing people wanted to know that if they gave their money away, could they get it back? And so we processed all of this information from these 32 interviews. We held design studios to come up with what solutions could be. And at the end of the day, we decided that we needed something more personal. People needed a better experience. And so we started to develop our bot, and we just took all of that information from those interviews and tried to build a decision tree that said, OK, we heard these words, these phrases, these emotions. And based on that, what do people need? And so we you know, sketched it all out. We used a bunch of spreadsheets. We tried to make sense of it before putting it into our really lightweight tool for this beta. And our tool is a simple if-then technology. If somebody inputs this or selects that they needed to report a scam or find out if it was a scam, the tool spits them out the answer that goes with that. It is not super advanced. We hope to make it more advanced. But for our beta, it, it did the job. And that's how it shows up on the site. It's a little friendly thing there that you can click and open and get some help. And where we're trying to go from here, in terms of metrics, that number is actually now out of date since I sent these slides. Since we launched four months ago, it's been used 13,000 times. Um, and for every four people that interact with us, three of them get the answer they need and are able to get out, get on with their lives, and get the help they need. We're looking at that remaining 25% to see what we can be doing better. But we felt we've built a really good proof of concept for where this can go from here. And for our next steps, we want to be able to tackle more topics. Scams isn't the only thing that people have problems with when it comes to government information. It's certainly a big one, but it's not all of them. We want to eventually move to a technology that is self-learning, that has some of those natural language processing capabilities so that the bot can do more than just a few simple things we built in from the interviews that we did. And once the bot is smarter, we want to integrate more seamlessly with our call center so we can take that omni-channel approach. So no matter where you go to get an answer to, hey, is this weird call I got real or not, you get the same answer from us no matter where you find us. So we're in the beta stage. We're really looking forward to growing from here. And we think we've got some really, really great data to get us there. So that is all. Thank you.